<laughs> That's fine with me. Go for it. All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another uh, story time with Wookie. I'm here with Zenroth. Hey. I need a video today because I only thing I have left that I could upload today is a very old Jagalia Lost video where I lose terribly. <laughs> so here's a day in the life of Wookie for you. Um, so we went to go see Joker last night, and um, it's great because. Uh, so you were no. Let me. That's bad. That's a bad way of starting this. I'm gonna apologize because <laughs> the way I was about to <laughs> transition into this. Do you remember um, that specific time when the last Batman movie came out and how there was the unfortunate like mass shooting for it? Yes. The um, the what is it? Dark Knight Rises. Yes. Okay, so I remember that happening, and I remember very specifically after it happened, there was a there was a very definitive there was a thing from my family that was like, listen. We don't want anyone to cause weird fear among us. We're going to go and see this movie because we wanted to see this movie. And my mom went with us because she was like, I agree with you, but also I'm very scared for your life. So we saw what was probably the most tense uh, viewing of the Dark the Dark Knight Rises ever, where there was a constant <laughs> feeling of just like, okay, so we're all here looking at everyone in this theater while also trying to watch this movie, right? <laughs> so we're, everyone's doing that. <laughs> everyone's watching everyone else's face. Yes. Uh, so that was how it was when Dark Knight Rises came out. And so when Joker came out and everyone is basically thinking, well, obviously because it's Joker, they're going to do this again because it's a Batman movie. Even though the last time this happened, it was technically a Bane movie that caused all this thing to happen. Yeah, Joker was not in the last no, movie. No, he couldn't because unfortunately the actor Heath Ledger was dead. So they couldn't, they didn't, any plans for him to be in the movie were kind of scrapped after that well, happened. Well, it, it comes from supposedly the guy said something like i'm the joker but there's been no verification that that's true and there's some evidence to, to suggest that cops made it up so mm. yeah and trust me i don't trust a fucking cop at all except for when they're nice in which case i go good for you cop <laughs> way to fight against Thanks, the grid like that one cop in Jack in the Box who gave a bunch of kids baseball cards. I'm like, you're a very old cop and I like your style, cop. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> Good stuff, cop. Good stuff, cop. You know, <laughs> respect where respect is due. Anyway, so when we go to go see Joker, first of all, it's extremely packed. There was a shit ton of people there, but so it was actually very hard to find a parking space. But while we were looking for a parking space, we noticed that uh, there's a lot of cops outside the theater. Oh, and we're, yeah, so they were 100% ready, and I guess it's a very weird feeling to go, oh, there's now a chopper going across my <laughs> current field of vision. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but it's in the background. It's really leading to the ambiance. Turn for a minute. All right, we're good. Um, so we went to go see Joker. There's a whole bunch of cops outside, and that's a very good way to make you go, huh, I guess they're taking this extremely serious. Which is a good thing to know that if if anything were to happen inside this theater, at least after someone had been killed, someone the cops would run yeah. in. I guess yeah. like that. That's like a, they would show up later. I guess. Yeah, like thank you for being outside. That and so we go in there, and even before the movie started, I told my brother and sister, if anything happens. I was trying to tell him in a very deliberate way, like, get behind, like, I want you guys to be in front of me. The, my basic idea was it is that if anything were to go down, I'm going to try and use my body to shield the bullets from them. Fun, but I couldn't properly tell them that because I'm still recovering from it my It sounded sickness. like you said, I want them in front of me, which means I want you to take the bullets. No, so that was the problem was that I was trying to tell them. <laughs> I'm trying to find a good way of saying I need you guys to, uh... I, I want to deflect the bullets from you, but also I don't know which way they're coming from. So whichever way it's coming, <laughs> try, try and like go in front of me, and I'm not able to <laughs> try and like uh, use me as a shield. Basically, is what I was trying to say, but I couldn't tell them accurately because I was like discombobulated. Because there's no good way to tell your siblings. By the way, if anything happens, use me as a meat shield. <laughs> So all I said oh, to them, God. I, so the only thing I ended up saying to them was like, if anything happens, uh, 
stay together and run <laughs> was like the one thing like, <laughs> like all, all my training as a big brother has led to this moment stay together and run and all in my stay mind get together and get out <laughs> yeah i'll try and figure out where the bullets are coming from and i'll use my giant i'll use my inbuilt soccer skills to fucking be the goalie from the bullets <laughs> So we go, we go to a natural we, soccer aptitude. Exactly. So that's my mindset going into Joker. Um, <laughs> so we go in there and we're all the way at the tippity top. It's already weird because there's an old white guy who's constantly switching seats because I'm going to assume he did not actually buy a ticket there and he was trying to be the old style of movie. Like, you know that old style of movie where you could very easily sneak in and now you can't because there's assigned seating? Um. I- so he kept There's still out of sign getting at my fingers. <laughs> yeah. So he kept like just walking everywhere and like jumping across the place. And I'm like, dude, this is the worst. Again, I'm entering this movie with the frame of mind of like I'm ready to die for these siblings if anything comes down. I need you to stop <laughs> moving around. Only in America is that a thing that people have to do. Yes. Of mind that I'm prepared to die for my family. Only in America. Going so to see the movie. Thankfully, this is one of the good white people because he didn't he didn't cause anything. He just wanted a free movie ticket. <laughs> That's all he wanted. <laughs> um, but it ends up being so the movie kind of starts, and then my brother is sitting next to a guy who is constantly removing and t- putting on his shirt, and he's doing this before. For, so before the movie even starts, this guy puts his head. You know, like when you put your hands on your head, like you're extremely depressed. He started doing that and I saw that with the corner of my eye and I went why do you have to be right next to my little brother <laughs> <laughs> like there's no I, I would like I almost wanted to like tell my sister you need to tell him to switch places with me but I also didn't want to sit in his seat because his seat someone spilled soda on so I so I wanted to protect my family but I didn't want to have sticky butt throughout the movie in case anything uh, it was a false alarm <laughs> Um, <laughs> so what ended up happening was that this guy Very got important not having sticky butt no sticky butt so what happened is that this guy actually just got extremely high him and his friends just got decided that the best time to get high was at 11 p.m. when there's fucking cops outside <laughs> that was the best time to get really high and watch the Joker <laughs> Hey, you know what? Whatever works, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. I guess so, but this dude ended up fucking talking throughout the entire movie because he didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> like, the movie started and he was already <laughs> going like, Who's this guy? <laughs> What's going on? And then my sister had... My sister was about to start fucking straight up uh, f- throwing fists at these people because she was like, Shh. And then one of the high people go... Did someone just shh us? And then she goes, yeah, shh. And she's like, literally, at one point in the movie, she tells him, like, are you guys going to shut the fuck up? And then the guy's like, I'm going to shut the fuck up. He was like, he was like one of those shitty high responses because they're too high to make a witty comeback. So they just said (laughs) what she said back in a dumb voice. (laughs) And yeah. I'm like. So that ended up being an extremely weird viewing of the Joker because I had to look at Joaquin Phoenix do his like weird white guy dances and then also look at this guy who was clearly having an extremely bad trip throughout this movie. <laughs> and that was our night at the movies and thankfully everything ended. We The, the movie was good. Those high dudes just kind of walked away. I don't know if that guy's going to have to see Joker again because he just didn't understand what the fuck was going on. Uh... <laughs> But that, yeah, that was the scene of the Joker. And that was a legit day in, day in the life right there. And it happened yesterday. And also Joker's good. You should check it out if you haven't seen it. If you're if you're afraid to, I can understand waiting a bit. <laughs> so it's cool. <laughs> Until it's safe. Yeah, that that is fair. Yeah. So that's uh, that's today's day in the life. Uh, it was a very <laughs> it was a very quick one, but we had uh, had to get it done. So. Oh man, if we're almost at the 10 minute mark. Okay, so before we hit the 10 minute mark, also before uh, we went to go see Joker, we were actually a little bit late to go to the movie because um, as I was getting ready for it, I got new. My friend told me that the wrestling was trending, was trending, and I said, "Oh no, what happened to Kofi?" <laughs> like it was an immediate gut reaction. <laughs> of, 
oh no, this guy who is super well loved and liked, has something bad happened to him? And the answer was yes, he lost his title to fucking Brock Lesnar in a fight that took less time than a fucking promo. There was a, like an ad, a subway ad lasted longer than the fight itself <laughs> to show you how oh, much. Oh man. <laughs> And then, in, yes, and then probably the most, I can't put it in other, like, um, it's hard, to, like, imagine if this happened to your, one of your, so Brock Lesnar is known in the WWE as being an unstoppable powerhouse. No matter what, even if you don't like the guy, he has always been booked strong. That would make him the anime equivalent of the bad guy in Toriko for the first half of it. Uh, not Stardew and his master, what is his name again? Dora. Yes, him. Okay, now imagine if he, throughout the entirety of Torico, was super strong, and then at the end, fucking, like, <laughs> uh, some guy from a completely different series showed up, and he was immediately afraid, because that's what happened to Brock Lesnar, is that some fucking UFC guy showed up, and he was like, it's this UFC guy, and this one guy who is literally beat the shit out of the entire roster never afraid once suddenly turned into a tiny toddler in the view of this like kind of <laughs> chunky Hispanic USC fighter <laughs> and it was like it was like it was, such, it was such bullshit that I texted my boss cause my boss to the lead up by the way my boss approves wrestling and we talk about wrestling on the clock a lot um, cause we're good at our jobs and <laughs> I send him a hey, text, man, you know, yeah, get what needs to be done. I sent him a text because he was positive. Brock Lesnar was not going to win. Cause he said one is extremely bad for business. And also he doesn't need to have a title on him right now. So the second Brock Lesnar won, I sent him a text in the nicest way possible to not get fired of, Hey, were you watching wrestling? And then he said, yeah, that ending was trash. <laughs> <laughs> So I can't wait to actually get to work and hear his anger. Like, even in, I've never seen him so negative on something where I, like, felt he was attacking it like you attack anime communities on Twitter. He was just, like, super not <laughs> for it. So there you go. Now that we're at the 10-minute mark, that's a good time to end it. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, Zen. Absolutely. That's what I do.